Hi everyone, this is uh, Madhusudan Chandrasekhar here with Fin Trainers. Uh, today I'm going to answer this question some of my students have, which is, okay, now I'm going to be taking the exam in 2024. How different is that compared to 2023? And those people who had uh, initially planned for a November 2023, but feel like they might need a couple more months to prep uh, to be confident, right? So at Fin Trainers, we believe that you need to get 70% plus in your marks. And so some of them are not there yet and they are thinking of taking the 2024 and wondering how different is 2024. So we'll try and answer this. And the first key thing, you know, that I want to say is the 2023 learning modules we have, we were using the terminology of readings before and now uh, in 2023, this transition has happened, but it is done it has been done completely in the 2024 we are now calling this as learning modules and these are more crispier sh shorter crisper uh, uh you know bite-sized pieces because some of these readings earlier were 100 plus pages it was getting very tough for a lot of the students to uh be able to sit and finish one and now these make a more uh life more easier for the students i feel at least uh and the even if you if i go look at the los as uh, some of these uh there were like in 2023 2022 when we were reading through it seemed like there was too much of back and forth it was tough to get around uh, there's some repetition as well so some of the los has, has been the learning uh, outcome statements have been cleaned up and uh, uh this is the most important thing, I guess, is that uh, foundational topics, the basics in a lot of the areas have been moved to prerequisites, okay? Uh, overall, I think uh, this has meant that the syllabus is a little bit shorter, around 10% reduction, I would say, uh, provided that, you know, the prerequisite materials already known to you okay so the prerequisite material you will not be tested in the examination but you need to know for you to be able to understand the other topics so if you already have learned it in your business degree your finance commerce group uh, etc that's fine but if you don't know then you still need to go and revisit but you don't have to be uh, practicing problems just understanding the concepts and then jumping into the core uh, learning modules which will be tested and in terms of the uh, this is kind of misleading like if you look at the learning modules versus the 2023 uh, or the what we call as readings earlier it has actually increased but if you look at the pages I think it's the ones that is tested it's actually lesser right so the content itself is uh, shrunk a bit and though it's been organized into smaller uh, learning modules so the number itself is more okay now that's the uh, nutshell right so we have now more learning modules some of the older topics have either been deleted or removed or moved to prerequisites that's all great uh, because they are not going to be tested and there have been some additions mostly interesting ones i feel and uh, yeah we'll now jump into the detail but if you are looking for uh, just a quick overview this is it i had uh, you know when this uh, enhanced uh, curriculum uh, for 2024 came about i had created a detailed video on what are the changes at a higher level so if you want to watch that i will leave a description uh, link in the description do uh, watch the one now for the detailed changes i'm going to look at all the 10 topics and see what has changed so first on the quantitative methods the uh, additions are on big data simulation and uh, there is also uh, rates and return it looks like an addition but it's actually just a dcf uh, that has been renamed and brought in here uh, so Effectively, I would say big data and simulation are slightly uh, or newer topics and slightly different than what you would have uh, exp what we have seen in 2023 syllabus. Uh, now, in terms of 
deletions or moving on to prerequisites. I think most of this in quant is moving on to the prerequisites. Uh, this is actually, uh, you know, some of my students are pretty happy about it. Uh, I, I do think it's actually useful to learn some of these uh, probability concepts, uh, organizing, describing, and visualizing data. I understand that's uh, not a really a core concept that will be useful later on, but uh, sampling, basics of hypothesis testing have been all moved to prerequisite. So if you're not from a math or a stat background, do spend some time reading that even though it's not gonna be tested. All right, now on the uh, economic side, this is good news. I think this is uh, generally, I would say, uh, pretty good news because this was a heavy topic for level one and a lot of uh, students felt, particularly from non-economics background, to be vast. And so they have uh, uh, trimmed it up and this is all mostly again in prerequisite. And uh, I think you, know, you can understand the concept so if you just read through once, even if you aren't from an economics background, but the good news is it's not gonna be tested. So you just need to get the knowledge uh, rather than trying to be exam ready. Uh, so, so overall, I think this is a positive. So it, I think it is important to understand uh, some of these uh, concepts, the monetary fiscal policy, aggregate output, uh, price level and employment, because we do need that when we are doing financial statement modeling. All right, now, all right. Coming to financial statements uh, analysis, FSA, they have introduced the financial statement modeling, which is good. We also have that in uh, practical skills modules. Overall, I think that's a good addition. They have removed the IFRS, US GAAP reporting standards, uh, those principles, et cetera. And the application of financial statement analysis techniques is the last learning module. But I think a lot of that, you know, is there in the FSM, the financial statement modeling here. Uh, you know, the uh, techniques for, for credit analysis, equity, all of that. Uh, so, so this one is not much have changed. I guess some in the early part, uh, some theory has been uh, moved out. No change in ethics. Corporate issuers, this is an area where I, I'm a little surprised that they deleted cost of capital and leverage. Uh, it's, it's a very uh, fundamental one and I think uh, you, you know, understanding of this could have been uh, helpful but obviously we are gonna see advanced concepts, cost of capital in level two, which was there so I think they are now combining it there, but uh, this one was a little bit of a surprise for me. Uh, equity uh, here, uh, let's see. Yeah, so they've added three new additions, but it's mostly uh, kind of rejigging the industry and company analysis that was previously there into company analysis, industry analysis and the forecasting. I really enjoy reading this one. I think uh, they have done a really good job of uh, uh, writing these three new additions to the equity one. So I think this is not uh, much of a change. Overall positive on the equity side. Fixed income, there's no change at all. Uh, there is the, the, LO, the, the learning modules has increased dramatically in fixed income, but in content wise, uh, it's the same, it just have uh, improved it, I guess. No change in alternative investments. Again, it looks different from the learning modules, but uh, really not much. They have added the digital assets as a new LM, but that's that. Portfolio management. They have uh, removed uh, FinTech and technology. They've actually removed it, not even um, move it to a prerequisite. I think uh, this one is, again, I'm not very sure because uh, we are all fundamental analysts, at least as a CFA, uh, we believe in uh, in weak form hypothesis. Uh, so, but however, we all look at when we want to buy and sell, we look at some technical 
chart pattern, etc. I think this knowledge would not have hurt, uh, but I understand why they might have felt this is not required. Okay, and then the uh, derivatives, they just uh, did a revamp last year, so no change there. Okay, I think that finishes all the 10 topics, right? Uh, so can we study for 2024 with 2023 material? So people who are uh, thinking of shifting their examination to 2024 when we've already purchased 2023, now I think there's a lot of changes, uh, enough changes that you don't want to be studying 2024 with 2023. Uh, what is this uh, practical skills model? What should I be doing? Uh, there are two of those. One is the financial statement uh, modeling, and then you have the introduction to Python. Uh, both are good. I mean, I wish they let you do both. Uh, however, if you have to choose one, I would say go with FSM, uh, go with your financial statement modeling. Unless you have done a financial modeling course here with us in FinTrainers, then you obviously go ahead and take Python because uh, you will be uh, benefiting more from Python once you understand how to do financial modeling, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then our training uh, here for the Feb 2024 batch is obviously following the uh, updated curriculum and all our live classes, in-person classes, and the video recordings are all going to be reflecting the 2024 curriculum if you're joining for the 2024 batches and if you are in 2023 november and you are shifting to feb uh, definitely you know contact us and we will ensure uh, that you are being uh, given the materials uh, to reflect some of those changes all right if you have any questions leave a comment below and uh, all the very best with your preparation.